I didn't tell you, zebra fish has this unique property of organ regeneration. Every organ or there are some Almost all organs. the organs. They can regenerate their heart. Okay. They can regenerate their kidney and then fins, of course. One of the examples of such studies uh, came up way back in maybe 15, 20 years back. So the experiment was very simple. They took some zebra fish, they cut a part of the heart, stitched it up and left it in the tank. After a few days, they caught the same fish, opened the heart and they saw the heart is regenerated again. That was the first that was one of the pioneering works where people actually realize that they can regenerate. One of the techniques that we do is uh, we cut the tip of the tail. So when you cut the tail off, within 7 to 10 days, the tail comes back. So it is a good model to study wound healing, wow. also to study regeneration. How would you study heart regeneration? Like you oh. have to get inside the organ and then cut it and then stitch it back. So right now, most of the people are using cryogenic injury. It's, it's like cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you induce a cold shock. So part of the heart gets injured and good then idea. they look at how it regenerates. regenerates. And of course, for that, you need to cut open the patients. Mm -hmm. I mean, how studying heart regeneration can help uh, study human diseases? Oh, plenty of applications. If we know how heart regenerates and if we know what are the proteins, what are the pathways involved. We can invent new way to new strengthen way to our even, heart. Yes, we can also find out different ways of actually predicting the propensity of developing such uh, conditions.